We talk about latch as a general term. It means that the baby is sucking well from the breast and is properly positioned. In the hospital, we also use LATCH, L-A-T-C-H, as an acronym that helps us to assess how well the baby is nursing. For example, we're looking for a good latch, for swallowing, tender breasts, nipple condition, and how much assistance the mother needs during the nursing session. Your nurses will watch you nurse and make this assessment at least twice a day to ensure that things are going well. If not, they'll help you make adjustments as needed. The latch is so important because it affects your baby's ability to get the nourishment he or she needs, to effectively empty the breast, and to do so without causing damage to your breast tissue. Your baby will be most responsive to eating when hungry, but not starving. So watch for signs that your baby's ready to eat. These are called feeding cues, and you might notice that your baby's licking his lips, squirming a little bit more than usual, or trying to eat his hands when he's ready to eat. These signs come before getting angry to the point of crying. It's easier to latch your baby on when they're not crying because it actually affects their tongue position. When latching your baby, begin with positioning your hand in either a C or a U shape and support your breast in that position. Make sure that the fingers on the underside of your breast aren't touching the areola or dark skin around the nipple. Position your baby's head so that her nose is in line with the nipple. Think about how we drink or sniff. We tip our heads back, and this is what you want to do with your baby when you bring her to the breast. Tickle her upper lip with your nipple to get her to open her mouth, and as soon as she does, connect your baby's mouth with your breast tissue chin first, being sure to get as much of the areola in your baby's mouth as possible. Your baby's upper lip should be aimed for the nipple, and his bottom lip should be aimed as far away from the base of the nipple as possible. This is an asymmetrical latch. You should see your areola above the baby's upper lip, and if so, your baby's tongue will be drawing in more of the breast tissue from below. The head should be slightly tilted back and the nostrils free from obstruction. Look for and listen for swallowing. Some babies are noisy and it's obvious. You can hear them gasp and swallow, but others you just have to watch their throat to see if they're swallowing. Also watch for deep jaw movements that indicate that they're latched well. A baby that's not latched well will look like they're doing a fish face versus a forward jaw movement. Examine your nipples when your baby is done nursing. If they look asymmetrical like a new tube of lipstick, your baby is not latched properly. And if you continue to nurse that way, it could cause complications for you. Know that it's normal to feel intense burning or stinging for the first 30 to 60 seconds of a nursing session for the first two weeks of your baby's life. But if you continue to feel pain past that point, your baby might be latched improperly. When breaking the seal of your baby's latch, never pull the baby off the breast. Instead, gently slide a clean finger into your baby's mouth and disconnect the seal, then remove the baby from the breast.